Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 270, and this is my weekly meal plan episode. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the show. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan. If you're new, each week I share with everyone what's on my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. Um, it's just a really quick episode. Um, it's The idea is just to kind of help you with your meal plan or give you some ideas or inspiration. Um, if you're struggling, I think that meal planning is um, really important to make things easier, not having to try and figure out what is for dinner tonight. I also think it's really important to waste less food because when we meal plan, we buy what we need for the meals and we don't wind up with things that don't get used. And it also saves money for the same reason because you're buying food that you're actually gonna eat. So um, for each um, meal that's on my meal plan, I do share the recipe link in a blog post um, on my website if you're looking to find the actual recipe that I'm referring to. I do rotate my meals frequently, so you're not always gonna hear new recipes here. I do add in new things occasionally, but I try and keep it really simple by following a simple meal rotation. Um, Like so for examples, every Tuesday we do some type of Mexican theme. Um, every Monday, every other Monday I do hamburgers. On the off Mondays I do um, steak or hot dogs one, one um, like on the two alternating um, every other week. Um, so you won't find a whole lot of new stuff all the time. The idea for me is more just about having something simple um, put together so that I have a plan for the meal, uh, for the meals for the week. And then if I choose to add in something else, um, you know, new, I will do that. But I'm more concerned about making sure I have a plan that I can put together quickly. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, January 22nd. So on Saturday, I am making Chef John's Italian meatballs. This is from allrecipes.com. These meatballs are baked in the oven and they're really pretty um, quick and easy to make. So I'm doing those with um, easy ravioli bake, which is from bettycrocker.com, which is also very easy to make. It's just um, basically like uh, raviolis layered with sauce and mozzarella cheese. Uh, And then I'm also gonna just be doing a bagged salad on the side with that you know, like the type that you um, purchase at the grocery store that has the toppings all included with the salad. For Sunday, I'm gonna be trying Crock-Pot Vegan Chili. This is from happyhealthymama.com. Now this is a brand new recipe. I have not made this before, um, so I I can't say how it's gonna come out, but um, it sounded like it would be really good. It's got lots of um, vegetables in it. Um, You know, it's got like, I forget, I think it might have had sweet potato. Yeah, it has like sweet potato in it and carrots and peppers and then a bunch of um, like black beans and pinto beans and kidney beans. It sounded like it would be really good, so I'm gonna give that a try. And then another um, thing I'm gonna try, which I don't think I've tried before, is a recipe for crusty homemade bread because I thought that would go really good with the chili and that is from tasteofhome.com. And it seemed like it's pretty quick to make. It only had to rise for like an hour and then um, I think it rises again for another hour and then you bake it so it didn't seem like it was going to take too too long to make but we'll see how that works out so I'm actually trying two new things on Sunday for Monday um, it's our the week for hot dogs so I'm doing hot dogs on Monday along with um, home fried potatoes which I don't really have a recipe for but I just basically take um, potatoes and peppers and onions and dice them up and toss them together with some olive oil and salt and pepper and I throw them in the air fryer and so they're to like a good consistency you could also also just bake them in the oven and I do that because we make Italian hot dogs with the hot dogs which is where you put um, the potatoes peppers and onions like on the bun with the hot dog and um, it's really good and then I'm also going to do a can of vegetarian chili um, with the hot dogs because my one daughter is vegetarian and she doesn't eat the hot dogs but what she'll do is take like a hot dog bun and put the vegetarian chili on it and then put the potatoes peppers and onions on it and make a little meal like that for Tuesday we are doing tacos I don't really have a recipe for this but I mean I think everyone basically knows how to make tacos I just um, cook up some ground beef and season it and then I put out you know like um, cheddar cheese um, lettuce tomatoes Um, I put out some refried beans for my one daughter who doesn't eat the meat sour cream taco sauce you know all that kind of stuff for Wednesday we usually do some type of seafood so this Wednesday I and usually every other Wednesday I do fried flounder so this is a week where I'm gonna do the fried flounder and again I don't have a recipe for this one but I just 
do basic fried flounder. Like I buy the frozen, um, individually frozen flounder um, fillets, and then I just dip them in egg and breadcrumb and fry them up. Um, and then for sides, I'm gonna do crispy air fried sweet potato wedges, which is from cookinglight.com. And then I'm also just gonna do some frozen vegetables. Um, I usually try and keep some of those steam fresh vegetables in the freezer. So I'll just grab something that looks like it would go good with this meal and just pop it in the microwave at the end of um, frying up the flounder. So Thursday, we usually always do um, either soup and grilled cheese or breakfast for dinner because Thursday night is when I go food shopping. So it just makes it easier to have something really quick to make. So for Thursday, I'm gonna be doing crock pot potato soup. Um, I don't have a link for this, but I will post um, the ingredients on the, um, on the blog post. It's really, really simple to make and I think it comes out really good. Um, you basically just put like the um, a bag of like the, uh, I forget what they call them. It's like the diced up potatoes that has like the peppers and onions in it. Um, it might be O'Brien, I forget what they call them, but you put, you dump a bag of that in the crock pot, um, vegetable broth, cream of mushroom soup, and you just let it cook all day. And then at the end, um, you're supposed to add cream cheese, but I actually honestly never do that step because I just think it tastes good as is without adding the cream cheese to it. Um, but if you wanna add the cream cheese, it'll give it a little bit creamier of a taste. And then you just top it with sh some um, shredded cheese and it comes out really good. And then I'm just gonna do grilled cheese sandwiches on the side with that, um, you know, when the soup's done cooking, when we're ready for dinner. Uh, so then the last meal on this week's meal plan is for Friday. There's a lot of meals I don't have recipe links to share. <laughs> this doesn't usually happen where almost everything I don't have a recipe link to share. I guess it's just how it worked out this week. But for Friday, I'm gonna be doing penne with broiled chicken. And this is something that I just started making one day and it, my kids just really liked it. So what I do is I just take some chicken breast and I cut it up in small pieces and I toss it with a little bit of olive oil and garlic salt and I broil it um, just until it's a little bit crispy. And then I make some penne pasta, and when the penne's done, I toss it with a little olive oil and then toss it with some shredded mozzarella. I toss it with the mozzarella um, after it's off the heat um, because I like for the mozzarella not to like fully melt, it just kind of like melts a little bit in, the, in there, but it's not like fully melted in the pasta. And then um, those of us that eat meat can add the chicken to the penne with the mozzarella. And then my one daughter that doesn't eat meat will just eat the penne and mozzarella mixture, but it tastes really good like that. And then again, I'm gonna do just another one of those frozen um, steam fresh type vegetables that I could just put in the microwave. So that's it for this week's meal plan. Um, don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And as I mentioned, I have a blog post for each of these meal plans on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. I also have a blog post for each of my regular topic episodes, which come out on Mondays on my website also. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so that I can see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, that would be really great. That's what helps the show come up in search results when people are looking for um, a podcast similar to mine. Also, um, if you're interested, there is a link in the episode details to support the podcast financially. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available to you locally. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. 
Visit BetterHelp.com slash Lola, that's Better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Lola's Frugal Life listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Lola.